Hi everyone, Carlos's Diner here with another LEGO Custom. This one is on Mayor Burwell Buter from LEGO Friends. Or at least it's animated series. Now for those of you who don't know who Burwell Buter is, he's the main in he's one of two main antagonists of LEGO Friends. The other one being his daughter Tanya Buter. But there but um but that's enough for on the character for now. If you therefore have know who he is, you might recognize him in some of my LEGO Friends videos that I'm uploading here. That is because I plan on using him as a character in probably a future parody. I don't want to spoil too much, but that's enough for now. Let's get on to the minifigure. Now the reason why I did Mayor Buter as a custom minifigure was because LEGO never released him as a physical minifigure in any LEGO sets. And I checked all around YouTube for any customs on Mayor Buter and Snivel. That's his assistant, but I'm not doing Snivel. Anyway, I looked around YouTube and I noticed that no one ever did a custom on this guy. And I'm like, how come no one's even thinking of making a Mayor Buter custom? And I don't know why, probably because he's not very favored. I don't know why, but... Anyway, I decided to do this myself, being the first guy on YouTube to ever make a custom on this, of Mayor Buter. Now anyway, let's get on to the custom itself. Buter uses a dark gray slick hairdo piece. I don't know what it's called, but it's a dark gray slick hairdo piece that I'm going to call it. I think it works out as a good piece because that's his hair color and his hair is actually like that in the show. Then here's a Star Wars Rebels Imperial Officer headpiece from Star Wars Rebels set, the Inquisitor's prototype TIE Advanced. Therefore, I thought it looked great for Mayor Buter since he has like some sort of bags under his eyes and like has cheekbones and stuff. And he has that like frown and since Mayor Buter is one of the baddies, I decided to have that frown even though he's more of a smiley type. Even though he smiles a lot. Next for his torso, I used... A uh, Lego Harry Potter. Um. Uh. Oh, what was his name? What was his name? I'm trying to remember the character's name. Uh. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, so Draco Malfoy Slytherin torso. Draco Malfoy Slytherin torso. Because I think it worked out well for his business suit since it's light gray and he has like a tie. I think it's a, like a bluish tie, a blue, blue tie. It's not green, but. Uh, I don't know any, any good Harry Potter torsos with tie, with blue ties. Probably one of those other house branches. I don't know what the name is. Hufflepuff, I think it was, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't have that type of torso, or I don't think that Lego made one. But that's the one I used for Buter. Last but not least, I used Lego Ninjago Shark Army. Printed legs. Now I know Mayor Buter doesn't have any detail on his legs in the show, but I'm just adding that there because I think it looks interesting. And also because I can't find my Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts suit legs. The light gray legs that match this tone color. I can't find that, but I'm just using this as substitute. Now before I end this video, you're probably wondering how come I portrayed Mayor Buter as a minifigure and not a mini doll, if Lego Friends is for mini dolls. Well, I'm going to tell you this because Mayor Butera is bulky, and I don't see him bulky on mini dolls. I just see skinny on mini dolls. So I thought that portraying Mayor Butera as a mini figure would be a lot more appropriate for his character instead of a mini doll because mini figures are more bulkier than mini dolls, if you notice. I'm just having General Mayhem from Lego Movie 2 as a comparison. Right here. And that is it for this custom minifigure. What are your thoughts on this custom? Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see more videos. I would really like to hear what you have to say for this custom. And the character itself, if you want to. But anyway, that's it for this video. Bye!